Now let's take a look at the course schedule. So from the home page, going back over here to course information, um, the course schedule is the second on the list, and I'm just going to click here to download it. And it's a PDF document again, so I can print uh, or save it to my computer once I have it open. Um, but this document basically has a checklist of everything you need to do for a week. So if you're like me, I live by checklists, both in my professional and my personal life. Um, and so that's what the purpose of this is. It's to give you an idea of exactly what you need to get done and when you need to get it done by. So you see week one, um, you have all of the deliverables for week one and the dates in which those deliverables will be available and the deadline, which is Sunday, July 14th, for you to get those done. And again, it kind of correlates with the Explore, Learn, Connect, Collaborate, and Experiment Apply theme that we have. So as you look to week two, um, you'll see your deliverables for week two um, in terms of Explore, Learn, Connect, Collaborate, and Experiment Apply. Now let me just talk to you just very quickly about the differences um, between week one and two. So in week one, um, you are to review and print the course syllabus and schedule, um, complete the activities in the soft talk lesson, um, watch the videos, which you're doing now, and complete the student pre-course survey. And then you're gonna um, have instructions for setting up your Google account, setting up and sharing a reflection document with your team lead, and posting an introduction to the virtual bulletin board. And finally, you'll take your self-assessment quiz and you'll um, reflect with the Google document um, that you shared with your team lead. And all of this can be found in the week one module in Blackboard course sites. Starting in week two, um, things change just a bit. Um, you still are responsible for um, reviewing the soft talk lesson. Um, starting in week two on Tuesday nights um, from 6 to 6.30, we'll have a live broadcast with myself and some of your team lead that you're welcome to watch or you can watch the recording later. Um, starting in week two is when you'll do your um, key point contributions, which we talked about in the video just prior to this. Um, and that's with your small group of five to six um, fellow group members. And that's in a document in um, Google Drive that we will set up for you. So you'll automatically know who your group members are and you'll automatically see the document. Um, you're also going to set up your Google Plus account in week two and you're going to post a response to your team leads prompt on your team Google Plus community page. And again, you're going to have instructions for doing all this when we get to it. Um, the final thing under Connect is to set up your Twitter account and to send a tweet using the Tarleton Ook hashtag. And then finally, you're going to complete the experiment activities take the self-assessment quiz, and complete your week two reflection in that same document that you shared with your team lead. And so week two all takes place from July 15th um, to July 21st at 11.59 p.m. Really, weeks three, four, and five repeat that exact same format. Um, and in your course schedule, you can see the dates that those deliverables are due. Down here in week five, there is a little bit of a change in terms of the um, opening dates for the module. So because our class ends on August 8th, I'll open up week five a bit earlier than you're used to. So week five will open um, actually on August 1st. So week four and five will be, there'll be some overlap there. Um, so you'll have uh, plenty of time to do um, the full week five module. But the only additional requirement in week five is for you to take the post-course student survey. Um, other than that, the format is exactly the same um, from, from weeks two through five. And then down at the bottom, I've just given you some other important dates that you may want to be aware of. So that is the course schedule, and I hope you find it useful for making sure that you have all of your deliverables done each week.